Uh, oh, what the actual heck? What is in this forest? What the? Oh. Um. Hello, everybody. So, we're back with another episode of the series. We are now moving on to the Darkwood Forest, the home of the Illagers. Just for a little, like, background or, like, how I viewed the Darkwood Forest was kind of like Illager territory. So, that's kind of how I viewed this. We are going to have a normal village an abandoned village with a pillager outpost, the mansion, and a amethyst geode. That will really be it. So let's go ahead and let's see what we got here first. And, well, if you weren't paying attention, it is the abandoned village. So as you can see, what I really did is I just kind of like took a village, burnt it down, and just kind of like made it overgrow. So like, as you can see, like this would have been like the town square and like the houses there. This would have been like a little mini farm and stuff. And then you see how the pillagers just came, captured the golem. He's a little damaged somehow. He's in a cage. Exactly. They put up their training dummies. Did all, they did all the works, and now they have taken control of this village. So now it's abandoned. There's not really what the hell. Yeah. So, yeah, like there's not really anything here besides a pillager outpost. Which will lead me to go ahead to go to the next little spot we have, if I can find it. Oh, there it is. Okay. That actually didn't need any editing. But, oh. So, this right here. Get your job. Get your job. This right here is basically the non-abandoned -aban village. For this one, I kind of just took inspiration from, like, how Mojang builds their stuff. So, I did it how, like, Mojang usually does it. It's usually just, like, a city street uh, strip. So, we have a couple of houses here, there. Like, like I literally went in the Minecraft, found uh, one of these villages, and that's what this thing is. It's pretty cool, actually. So, there's loot. All the good stuff. Made this little, like, pathway here. There's, like, a loom so people can, like, work. Here, here, here we go. Here, here, here. Here we go. Congratulations. You're hired. So, like, yeah, that's, yeah, this is it. Fountain, like, well. I keep on saying like. I'm not a freaking TikToker. What's wrong with me? So, yeah, which leads us to the Amethyst Geo. So the Amethyst Geode is basically something added in the 1.17 Caves and Cliffs Part 1. It is, base, is made out of, you guessed it, Amethyst, Budding Amethysts, Smooth Basalt, and Calcite. These things are actually a real thing in real life, geodes, which is pretty cool, actually. You can actually like, just find these. You take a rock, you crack it open, and it has crystals in it, which I find pretty cool. So, yeah, it's just a normal geode. I had it, like, open up to make it kind of like the, like the pillagers kind of, like, digging in there, like, ooh, what do we got in this giant block of 
circle of smooth basalt. Kind of like, what's going on? What, what, what's going on? So, yeah. And now, this will lead to the biggest part of this entire video. The Woodland Mansion. Boom! Here it is! That is extremely loud. <laughs> wrong one, wrong one. That's still pretty loud. So yeah. If you don't know what this mod is, it's the effective mod. It basically adds in the... I'll talk... Never mind. <laughs> so this is basically my wooden man woodland mansion. I built with world edit these mountains around it to kind of like make it like kind of secluded. So let's start off with the exterior so if you don't know what are the mansions are usually they don't have a door that is stupid so I just took these the little trap doors put them up like that and I put a door next thing I did is I took the the roofing and I added in these pillars on the sides all around the entire building on on the second and third floor. Next thing I did was add these slabs and this up in there. And then after that, I added in like greenery to make it look more beautiful. So right here I just added dark oak leaves on every window. I'm just kind of like, like a little outside of there. Like a little like thing right there. And, uh, yeah. The exterior, I did a lot, really. Like, there's also these pillars that I did. Just to make it look more better. If you don't know what this is, this is just cobblestone block. And, uh, cobblestone wall. That's, that's the word. So, to get in here, you have to come through, you have to, like, come through the forest. And... Well, you're like, well, it can't be that hard to find. It's just like a giant mountain. There are leaves and trees everywhere. But there are some, like, open spots. I don't know how that happens in world generation. But whatever. So here, like, you have this little cave entrance. Ooh, spooky. I don't know why I did that. And they have this, like, little nice pathway. Yay! Come up here, you have the water fountain, which for some reason just stopped working. Keep doing what you're doing, buddy. Come through here and... Oh, there you go. Look at you. Okay. Now you might be wondering, what the actual heck did you do to my Willow Mansion? Well, I updated it. I replaced the white parts with the bright carpet because it just feels too bright to be like a little spooky mansion kind of vibe. Got these cobblestone walls all over here. Replaced most of the stuff with wood. So yeah, we have this wood stuff. So let's start off with the first floor. That's basically stuff that I did with every floor. So, the first thing you'd probably realize is, well, the carpet. But I also added in, like, these little stairs to make it, like, they're actual pillars. Jeez, more jam. I also replaced the pillars with, uh, yeah, infested stone. <laughs> infested stone bricks, because it's a wooden mansion. It's old. You break it, you get stupid, dumb silver fish. Anyway, I took stripped dark oat log and made like a little like entranceway. And then I took spruce, stripped spruce to like kind of like point out the little like star things they have. And that's really like all this level is. I don't like the this side of the first floor. 
I prefer the other side because it's more, yeah, here. Because it's more open and nice. Moving on. If you can see, like this little like thing logo, it's pretty hidden. So I just took the spruce thing. I updated this basically this entire stairwell. I do not like cobblestone as in building. And I know like these pillars, cause that looks good. But then like I add it into the mountains to give the mountains more definition. But like I was about to like just replace all this with stone but I didn't because like why would they care about the exterior of the building anyways so uh, I took oak all this cool stuff same thing with all the pillars here just updated them which is I always I always mess it up every time I feel like the third story floor the third story stairs are on the right side it's on the left side you moron Get it right, me. I'm sorry, me. No, you're not sorry, because you keep on doing it. Anyway. So, this hill, of course. I also updated this. Keep the pillager wool thing there. Updated all the planks and stuff. New carpet. All that stuff. All the good stuff. Come to here, something. In yeah. 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 We see the same thing. Here it is. What is behind this room? Oh. What? Huh. Weird. Okay. So yeah, that's basically it. I just put myself in survival. That would have been good. I would have died on the spot. So... Yeah, that is basically the wooden mansion. There is one more thing I want to show you. But I'll save that for when we do the jungle. It, that's going to be like Wednesday, maybe. Maybe. Maybe it'll make a Saturday. I don't know. But anyways. That is basically it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Remember. Remember. If you guys hit the like goal of 100 likes, I will release this map with all the completed stuff in it. Don't know what that was. I will, will release this map with all the completed stuff in it for free. No Patreon. No garbage. Just get it. There are mods required. You do need fabric. Yada, 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 yada. But that's the only thing. Part. None of the mods, none of the resource packs are all bot. They're all free. Go and get them. The version I play is 1.18.1. So you're gonna need that. Don't just get one. <gasps> okay, that was close. But yeah, that's basically it. Subscribe, by the way. Have you ever heard of subscribing, guys? Have you subscribed? And like the video. Turn on notifications. It really means the world to me. And I'm going to see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.